हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू खती थ्री डी इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आवर स्टाइलाइज टेक्चरिंग विद दिस पेयर आउट आई विल बी एडिंग सम फाइनल टचेस एंड आई विल आल्सो बी यूजिंग सम जनरेटर्स फॉर द ऑटोमेटिक प्रोसीजरल इफेक्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल चूज द स्टैंड एंड आई विल एड सम डार्क कलर ऑन दिस क्रिविस दे आर सम सॉर्ट ऑफ क्रैक्स and uh, we will do it the automatic way the generators way so i will select the texture set of this stand and i will just duplicate this layer i could also create a new layer but i prefer duplicating it because i have disabled some maps and uh, if i create a new layer i would have to disable these layers again and again and again so what i do is i duplicate and copy them okay now i would need to select the darker color or less saturated color what i do is sometimes i go for the dark and i choose the hue to more appropriate okay like uh, more like a dark and uh, just slightly more gray into it okay i will add some dark into it and i can choose let's see we could always change this uh i will add some hue just like that and uh, i will add uh, a black marks on it and uh, i will use the generator now the generator i will choose for this is curvature and what curvature does is it creates the curvature map when we bake the mesh maps uh, during the start of the video okay if you go to the texture set you would see different kind of maps generated and there is also a map called curvature what this generator does is it uses your curvature map and uh, it will add or disable the layer color or anything even we could choose the roughness or metal on it i have chosen the base color layer on it use the generator the curvature generator okay i will choose this curvature generator as you can see it has added the blacks outside of the crevices what i would do is i will invert it okay and you would see that it has successfully started adding the uh colors on the crevices and now what we could do is these are layers so we could also change the color of it i will choose let's see i will choose more saturated okay i uh, what i just want to do is i want to make it uh see from the distance so it doesn't it looks good okay it looks good it doesn't look so bad okay so i will call it done for now i can just change the color whenever i want now then i will also use the same generator on this front feather we will also be adding this uh dark colors on this crevices so what i will do is select the front feathers okay i will exactly do the same which i did the previously i will just copy and paste this layer i will make its color darker okay change the hue a little bit just so that okay then and uh, i will just uh, make it a little more darker this times okay uh i didn't like this specular on it okay and uh, let's see this specular on the stand 2 this, this was the base color we added with the generator and let's see is roughness my bias is the high we'll also increase it okay to make it more rough okay i will go back to front feathers again and i will use the black marks at the generator select the curvature and uh, disable this curvature and uh, uh, it's really intense so i will play with the global settings to make it less 
intense i will increase the global blur to make it less intense now the color of the crevices is somehow i don't like it so i will go back to the color and uh, first of all i will choose this same color here i will turn this more like a gray and white tone i will can change the slightly more on the red and orange side i will change the hue slightly to more red and orange side okay and uh, still it will look intense i will go back to it and uh, i will try to increase the global blur what i could do is increase the contrast but it will just make this mark sharper okay i don't want to make it a lot whole sharper and uh, looks uh, acceptable uh, i will play with it more the huey and uh, yes this is what i most like it a maroon style i will increase the saturation a little bit okay then it look okay now for the body i was thinking the other day that i would have to add some more brighter color in the front what i usually do most of the time with the stylized texturing is i go from darker to bright and i feel like this body should be a more little bra brighter or warmer color this time so what i will do is select the body and i will create another layer i will just duplicate it copy and paste i will remove this black marks and uh, i will go for a little bit uh, i will increase the value a little bit and i will decrease the saturation a little bit and i will can do is i can change the hue to a more yellowish side okay i will increase the decrease the saturation a little bit more make it more like a white just play with the value and uh, we could always go back change the color i will add the black marks on it and uh, with the brush selected the soft brush okay the basic soft brush and uh, i will turn the pressure sensitivity of the size disable the turn off the pressure sensitivity of the size i will enable the flow pressure sensitivity and decrease it to 50 stroke fs uh, stroke opacity to 52 and with my pen and the graphics tablet i will make a stroke a lighter stroke I will increase the brush side and just gently tap on the body to make it let's see increase the let's see this is what I was talking about I can invert the marks and disable some parts okay I just want the middle part to be and now if I scroll back scroll up and zoom out i can see the bright paint looks good now now for the head i will also use some generator on the head what i could do is paint the brighter color here but what i will do is i will add the ambient occlusion layer uh, generator on this head and uh, again just copy and paste it and uh, increase its uh, roughness a little bit decrease its uh, uh, color and uh, i can always just change the more on the reddish side and uh, i will add the black marks add generator and this time i will choose the ambient occlusion generator let's see what it does it is inverted i will just invert it to true global invert and uh, to see the effect sometimes we aren't able to see the effects of this certain generator so these are viewport modes if you click it here 
select it click on it and select the marks okay now you could see the white areas are the one which shows the visibility of this layer with this black marks and this generator we could use the or decrease the global balance or increase the global balance for the effect of this ambient occlusion and uh, we could increase the contrast to make it more sharper and uh, the optional we could just play with the global setting to see how it looks and we could always go back to base color you could see the blackness is what the generator is doing it is usually uh this blackness is a uh, ambient occlusion what it does the ambient the meaning of ambient occlusion is uh, it is the darkest color on the edges of your model where two parts are meeting with each other okay i will go back to the material layer the final layer and we could see the effects by disabling it see that the ambient occlusion is heavily used on the games to add the depthness of the model and uh, i think we are done what i could do is i can add the darkest part the brightest part on the middle of this head like we did with the body i will duplicate it i will go for a little bit brighter change the we a little bit and uh, add bl black marks on it we have the same brush and the same setting selected and i will just gently tap it just gently tap it and uh, let's see how it looks let's see it looks uh, the color i will just change the saturation a little bit more i don't want the color sometimes is trial and error and you just have to experiment it yourself to see how it looks and uh, it doesn't look good i will remove this layer uh, this is one of my workflow sometimes not everything will work for you and i feel like this is something i could do in just photoshop a little bit but with this painting uh, the 3d model i am having difficulty selecting it so uh, i can call this uh, model done and uh, the more we add to things uh, small things it will add up and uh, but sometimes adding over adding things complicate things and it confuses the viewer and uh, what i try to find in my workflow is that, that i don't overdo the texturing a lot and uh, i can finally call it done and uh, uh, in the next video i'll be showing you how to export the texture sets for the blender software okay this is something uh, it is very important that the export settings of the substance painter are different for every software mostly substance painter support autodex maya and 3dx max so they provide the normal maps in direct x but blender uses opengl for the normal formats and i will show you all these settings in the next video i hope you like this video if you have liked it subscribe to the channel share with your friends and i will meet you in the next video take care